Good afternoon, guys. I just uh, move this camera back a little bit. Well, <clears throat> I've just had uh, just come back from the dentist, and I'm still all numbed up on the side of the face. I also had this 232, which is a uh, the one the back most rear tooth on the back. As you might be able to tell by me when speaking, speaking like a muppet. Sorry, um, not a good idea to do a video while you're numbed up and uh so it's had an extraction because the tooth's got a hole in it and um it's to do with the uh me having the these front teeth replaced as well part of the um program i sort of sort of um i've got lined up you know having these i'm gonna have a, like a, a palette a plate on me which will have these two front teeth in and um hopefully i look a lot better than I do now. Anyway, try getting the tooth out. No way. Will not come out. Did not know. I was getting pain through the nerve. Um, I don't know how many times I tried to numb. I mean, because I feel like uh, I'm thinking at the moment, I feel like Anthony Joshua. He did all this side of my face here. It's all numb. Your lips still numb here. And uh, yeah, as you can might tell in my voice, I just. You know, I'm talking a bit like that, you know, because all the, you know. So, um, let's light some up, shall we, guys? I've got the LCS pipe, new new LCS. Got the light here somewhere. I'm, in it, I'm smoking Pat's Codger Blend, which is half Sir Walter Lally and half, half and half. I've had this for a long time. And I forgot to put a filter in. But hey ho, anyway. Go and check out Jack Ryan's latest video. Um, some big changes going on with his uh, his channel and his uh, pipe making. I've not seen all of it, I've just seen the beginning of it. And it um, looks like he could be winding down Jack Ryan pipes. But like I said, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, but it looks like there's, there's a lot of changes going on with Jack. Personally, I think it's because um, he's changed over from going full-time pipe making. I don't think he's had the sales to keep him going, really. That's my, just my opinion, guys. I could be totally wrong. You know, from what you see, uh, he's not like he's making uh, one or two, you know, it, what was he trying to do? He's trying to do one or two pipes a week, maybe one pipe a week, and sometimes obviously with other things going on and it wasn't happening. But I, have, I really hope it isn't. I really, uh, um, you know, I, I, I wish Jack all the best because uh, I, I class him as a friend. And um, I'm going to have to check this out after I made this video. Some of these tools. Tools everywhere on the floor. I'm doing them bags every day. Anyway, guys, oh, public service announcement. Service announcement, even. EA Caddies, I've got Bolton Sobrani in stock. If you want a couple of tins, go and grab some. You cannot order more than two tins, and any um, multiple orders will be cancelled, and you will be charged extra 10%, which I didn't I didn't know. So um, just make sure you read what I was on the website. I was looking at it, even though I can't. I'm not allowed to order stuff, so. I just had a look at, uh, I think it's 20, 26 95 a tin. And um, so go and get yourself a couple of tins if you want a couple of tins. Or get friends even to order some if you need to bug get any. You need to stock up, but I'm not allowed to get any. It's a damn shame with all that because all the tins I did have, I gave, I gave, I gave away. I didn't realise how rare or how hard it was to get hold of then. You know, I'm talking about a year and a half, two years ago. And I give all my tins away. I think I had about four tins and I give them all away. Yeah, idiot. Well, well, I wasn't in. I didn't. wasn't. I didn't know then. So, my loss. Anyway, EA Kerry, two tins of uh, Balkan Sobranity, Balkan Sobrani even. But uh, there is a uh, another version, I think, of their own blend, which apparently there's no, there's virtually no difference. So, and it's only like twelve dollars, thirteen dollars. So go and check it out, guys, and you can have as many tins as you want of that. 
and according to the reviews they've had on it, they, they, they get, they, no one can taste the difference. So, pay your money, take your chance. All right, guys. Well, let's get someone. Let's get. Some yeah. So I've got to go back next week. Try and get this tooth out because when he was putting the tool in it, I could feel pressure, you know, on the nerve. It was just, it was making me wince, you know. I was jumping in the chair a little bit, and it's well, you know, so much jumping, I could feel it, you know, when it was just, it was like really sharp pain in the middle of my tooth. Felt like because obviously they put the press this thing on it. I don't know what sort of tool it is, but it looks a weird one because it's like to me, it feels like it's. Um, going to cutting into them into the middle of the tooth and then they grab the outside of it and you know i don't know but it's supposed to probably grabs the outside whatever but it feels like it felt like it was a uh, it was def definitely right down the middle of the tooth so he thinks i've got an infection looks like he's got any you know for the well he do some more x-rays and i said i'm gone you done x-rays last time i was here so we check on the computer oh uh, yeah dead didn't i more money guys in it more money so yeah Good job, I, I, I reminded him, otherwise I would, have, I, mean, I would have been having next days and paying for next days, I uh, was not required. I think that was 70 quid for next days. So, um, great little stubby, by the way. So, I'm not going to stubby. Fit me first, stubby. Good, good, good blend, Platt. Sorry, guys, I'm talking like a light pillar, can I? Yeah, sorry, I should, I should have done this video once it's worn off, but you know, uh, this, um, whatever they put in Novocaine or what they put in your bloody to numb, to numb all the areas. But uh, yeah, it you you know about it, don't you? So I don't know how many times we went in with the needle. It's funny, I always feel that first one, and it's always feels like they're putting it in the cheek. Oh, it always feels like it's like oh, back of the jaw. You feel, feel it right there, don't you? And um, he's gone in a couple more times, and I think he's given. I think he had about three or four goes trying to numb it up fully because at first we lip here. He said, Can you? "I wasn't 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 numbing up." Uh, it is now, I guess, like half, half weight, like half numb. But all, you know, I feel like all this, all, all this around, it feels like it's out here as well with the, um, with whatever they, you know, cane or whatever they, whatever they used. So, no, it wasn't having it. He said, oh, and so he, uh, he said, we got to, he said, oh, I think he looks like, you had to check, check the, the um, x rays from last time we went, and it looks like we've got a, uh, an infection. So I got to have um, some antibiotics, antibiotics for five days. So, and then go back next week to see if we can take it out next week. But I haven't paid for today's visit, so goodness knows how much more that's going to cost me. I hope it's not any more than what we planned. It's obviously we've agreed a, a, pla a plan of, uh, you know, for the... Um, to have the teeth done, and, and this was part of the plan, you know. And like I said like, on a video before, it's like over a thousand pounds, you know, it's like eleven, twelve hundred pounds going to cost me to have this tooth out. The x rays I had last, last time I went and get the plate and, you know, get everything done to have the plate made up. You might be able to hear how loose I've got that build. So yeah, guys, I got delivery today. I'll show you this. Was uh, put a few, I've got a few messages on me and Dave have been Dave uh, Piper Dave twenty twenty three had a few got a few messages backwards and forwards because I was worried about his tires. You know, he he said that truck he's got he knows it backwards and forwards. I said I thought oh, you're only thirty hours driving. It's not thirty hours driving solid. And I said. Got a fault with his uh, TPMS because I saw his yellow light on the, you know, known as yeah, fault on the pressures, isn't it? And I was worried in case he had a blowout or something. So that's all it was, Dave. I was worried, you know, and said, uh, yeah, apparently he's a fault, fault with one of the sensors. So he's fully aware. 
So, this came through, guys. As you can see, it's one of Simon's older pipe socks. And the pipe is too long to fit in the sock. <laughs> now, this is a pipe, and I didn't even realize this. It's a super grain. You don't see that pretty often. And um, it is a four star, even though he hasn't put the four stars on the <laughs> on the bag. And um, <sighs> that's what it is, guys. The chrysalis. It's like um, it's coming home. So this is it. You've already seen this. I've had. I've asked Simon when he's uh, when he's had uh, when I had that sale on for the uh, help his refunds for his daughter's wedding. I've asked him to put a new um, make me a new stem. So he's done this fabulous um, salmon. Is it salmon or orange? I don't know what you call it. Simon, sorry, and black. I don't know. His glasses are Cumberland, is it? Does it have to be black and black and red for Cumberland? I don't know. And it matches beautifully with this pipe. So here you go, guys. It's a pipe. Oh, look at that. Look at the shine on that. And it's that tight. Look at that. Look how tight it is. This beautiful chrysalis pipe. Originally, as you know, as Simon's told you many times, he's had this out a few times. And yeah, I just have to have it. And it's got a big, I didn't realize how big a bowl in it because it's, it's a big bowl. Look, look, you can see that. How much room I've still got with my finger. And it's up to my knuckle. It's up to that knuckle. Look. So plenty, nice big bowl on that. And it's good thick wall. You can see how thick the walls are on that. Look at that. Thick, thick of this side. Oh, what a beauty. Definitely not a clencher. But a bit of grain on that, guys. Look at it! I had to, do, I had to, I had to throw that in, sorry guys. <sighs> they say when you copy someone, it's the highest form of flattery. Yeah, and there's that reason why it's a super grade. Look at that, absolutely stunning. It's plateau, and like I said, this is the reason why Simon didn't. I purchased it. And he's put twenty twenty four stamp on it because uh, I don't know I don't know why he put twenty four I know he's because his value sold it twenty twenty four but I actually purchased it in was twenty ten twenty two Simon or was it twenty three so I thought he would have put that stamp on it because that's when I purchased it originally and then he realised he mustn't put the stamp on until um just noticed a little bit of a mark on there um. Obviously, they found an issue with the ball. They found a fissure, in the, and they didn't, you know, when you see how thick it is, it's not, I don't can't, I can't see that splitting or anything. So when he had the sale on the other week, you know, his daughter's wedding, I had to have it back. I had to have it again. I got so, so I bought these two together. You've done me a good deal, and I appreciate that, Simon. And uh, yeah, I just that it's just it just had. It's basically what it's this is this is this pipe's home. Fabulous, fabulous pipe. Let's see it is it is a it is a long it is a long it is must be seven inches at least. That's all right, I don't know what's I've not even measured this. Let's have a look. It's actually eight inches long, guys. Eight inches long that pipe. Ah, beauty. Now the decision is whether I smoke it or whether I just keep it for show because it's you know it's one of them, isn't it, guys? It's just this looks too nice to smoke. But it'd be a shame not to smoke it because that's the whole purpose of it being made. But that beautiful wave. This S wave here. And you got the stamping all, all across the bottom there. And the LCS pliers, four star, 2024, London made. So you got the four, you'll be able to see this, guys. There's a four stars right on the end here. 
you've got LCS players there, then you've got London Made, then you've got Super Grade, and then underneath the London Made, but the uh, the date stamp twenty four. Yeah, I didn't realize it was super green. Beautiful, beautiful four star pipe. This is my second four star pipe. Absolutely stunning. I said when I when I first bought this, it was just it just it was just one of them pipes that shouts at you, and you have to have it. A bit like that mission we've been looking at, but I can't have it. But this one, it was just, yeah, it screamed at me. Just love this pipe. Yeah, so what a beauty. <laughs> it's hard to get it in the sock. It's a tight fit, that's for sure. <sighs> yeah, so, appreciate that, Simon. Ah. <sighs> I'm a bit dull and miserable again here now. I'm always surprised we have a bit more rain again tonight. I know there's a lot of, there's about 30, 38 flood warnings out in the UK tonight, today, guys. So, yeah, so this is going to be wearing off and it's going to give me a bit of a, glad I'm driving tonight because that will take my mind off it. I hope it will. I suppose sleeping would, wouldn't it, if I was asleep tonight? But, you know, it's just the way it goes. I had another bad night last night. The early finish. Yeah, I get paid for late, but at the end of the day, it shouldn't be happening. They shouldn't be sending drivers home. There's a lack of communication somewhere. Again, they wanted to send me to a place I didn't like going. I don't like going. And I told them I don't like going. And they don't seem to want to help me out because I have issues, like as I said before, with heights and some of these roads. I don't think I'll be any good going to uh, Wyoming, that's for sure. All them, all them mountains down there, what uh, Dave has to pass through. Fantastic video that day, by the way. Really took us along with the ship and showing us all the different states you went through. I uh, so, uh, yeah, really enjoyed that video. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. I think that's the first time we've seen Wyoming without the snow, isn't it? And last time we went up, had all the snow, didn't we? Now, I thought David rearranged re his, um, if you have a look where he's got his, his new, what well, I thought was new shelves in his um, Wyoming home. I don't remember seeing that earlier in, the, in one of his other videos. It looks like he just started to put out his jars on the on the on his bookcases. He's, he's you know, he's he's bought for there, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Usually, I take a lot more notice of videos than what I do, as um, people know. Well, Dale Piper should have had his um his delivery today. I hope we got there safe. You all know what it's about, so I put a video up the other day about that. So I'm just on um, I'm just nervous about what he's going to say about it. Like I said, I didn't want to send it because I wasn't happy with the quality, even though I commissioned it.
Oh, so yeah, if you guys haven't got, I made up them, um, them codger blend, codger blends that Pat made. Yeah, you know, I think he's done ten. Was it eleven? Go back and check his channel out. Go back a few videos and mix them up. They're bloody good blends. Must admit, most of them's half and half or something. When he made them, I couldn't get, there's a few blends I couldn't get, and even now I still can't get them, because I think there's a Strauss one in there, I think there's a Milan tobacco in there, and um, I recently got Sugar Bucket, which is a Sutliff blend, I think, if I remember correctly. But these Codger blends he does are, I wish I had a palette as good as his, you know, going to pick up all them different things on it. I know a lot of people are making up, starting to make up their own, or dabbling in their own uh, blends and stuff like that. But when you've got so many members out there knocking blends up and passing it around and whatever, I'm quite happy to sit back and uh, chug down the bandwagon as it was to uh, try someone else's blend. It's funny because one of the first books I bought when I joined the YTPC was about different blends. And it's, it, um, it had 50 different blends in there and give you all the ingredients to make it up. You know something? I've not even read it. I'll flick through it. And then it's got, on the back, you've got labels you can actually cut out and stick to your jars and whatever. I don't think they're sticky labels. I think they're just like paper, you know, printed on normal book paper. I'll have to get it out one day and show it to you guys. I think I've got a couple of, I've got a couple of pipe books and, I think well, I think well, it's a couple of the small books what Simon is showing on his video the other day. I think I've got, got a couple of like, like that. Well, I had something to eat before I went to the dentist because I'll see. I won't be having anything later on tonight. So I wanted something in my stomach, you know, so before I go to work. That Novocaine, oh, because it tastes awful, doesn't it? I was trying to stop myself from swallow, swallow, swallowing it. I think I had to spit it out about three times, but I can fit, I can, it's weird because, you know, he's giving you the needle. I was spitting out blood. I don't know, that's where he'd been trying with the, Tool giant, you know, obviously they go down the side of the tooth, don't they? So, might have been just off that, off the gums, like. I don't think. It's gone out on me because I haven't jumped it. <laughs> yeah. It's better. Waffling away and didn't even forget to tamp me bloody pipe. So I've had a word with me, had a word with my manager today. I had a, sent him a message about what's going on in work. And he's going to try and sort, sort some stuff out. I want to work. I do. I want to work. I want at least 10 hours a day. I'm only working for and then get sent home to get paid for days. I don't like that. I don't agree with it. Yeah, you're going to someone say, oh, it's easy money, but over the week or over the month, that works out. That works out a few quid, but I'm losing. You don't get me last year, I was doing a 48 hour week.
and I knew what I was going to get paid every month. Now, because the hours are a little different every time I go in, I don't know. I have to rough guess it. I've got a contract. I've got a contact with creditors and stuff like that. And, you know, people have got regular bills with to rearrange me payments again now because I had it all going out same time at the end of the month after payday or a couple of days after payday, you know. Now I'm getting paid weekly. I've got to change it all again. But I want to thank you guys who's, uh, you do, you know, we do the comments on the videos. I know it's not many. I get don't get many comments, but I do thank each and every one of you who do comment. I do appreciate support. Uh, a few comments I've had lately, like they do enjoy the waffles, and because um, they listen to it while they while they're doing other work, and I appreciate that, guys. You know, I like the idea you li what, listen to my waffle while you're doing something and it's keeps you hopefully it keeps you the mute for half an hour it should not look not up come up to nearly half an hour already jesus okay. Okay. yeah so i've not really slept well today just just one of them days i nearly have you know Post, postman not me, post lady not me up early with the delivery. Not just the pipe of Simon, but there's some other stuff for the missus. That was like, um, I don't know, 11 o'clock ish. I don't know, but I don't, you know, I, I got an hour, about an hour or two, maybe, before I took the missus to work. And she got me back out of bed again, take her to work at, um, Seven o'clock. I took her to work, come back, went back to bed. So it's all right, so about eight o'clock. So I had about, I had about three hours of kip. And I tried getting back to sleep this afternoon before, you know, before I had to go to the dentist and couldn't get back, just couldn't get back off. And like I said before, once I'm awake, I've, I've, I've got to get up. I can't just lie in bed and just lie there and do nothing. I've got to get up and got the wrong pipe on. I should have should have been the corn cob. Corn cob Tuesday. Oh, after that, after have that later after I after I pick the missus up. I'm in work ten o'clock tonight, so it's a little bit earlier. And just the last two days, last two days have been about 20 past 10. Hope tonight I should get back without having any issues by getting another job later on. Just like I said before, we do a collection. Say about an hour out or, you know, within an hour. And come back offload and then we should be loading. Loading up the big, the big runs. And the last two nights hasn't happened. And they have a. Well, what's going on, guys? It's a lot of um, friends looking after friends sort of situation. As you know, it always happens in any any business we do. But as an every uh, as, as an every driver, we're supposed to have the priority over the another load of guys there who are like self-employed or whatever they are or whatever. I don't know, might not be self-employed. Might be another agency, I don't know. But we're supposed to have priority with being actually, actually being every driver, so... And they shouldn't be sending people on. You know, and they should be working the run, so... Everyone goes out, you know. That's at the end of the day, that's what I'm paying everybody for. You know, to do, do the deliveries, do the runs. I don't mind how long you take, you know. So you can, also, you can take 11 hours maximum if you wanted to, but you're not allowed to stop on the way to a delivery. You know, you got to go there. Because obviously, you can't be stopping at a service station and you got a van full of, um, of goods like, you know, it's also the risk of being broken into or even stolen. So we're not allowed to stop. 
you two have got to get the um oh, i got something on my nose oh it's just a shadow so i had oil or something on my nose and i couldn't i thought what's going on there so we're not allowed to stop so we need to get so we get the delivery point and maybe have a break there or or near the service station when you come back you know, on the on the run back and then that's where people really take the time take you know take the time coming back you know what normally takes you say maybe take you two and a half three hours to get down there you can take four hours coming back and you know by the time you offload as well and um have your break so you're talking a good hour there and that's about it guys you know going up to the 31 minutes but i'm going to check out jack's jack's video now see what he's had to say did do a live earlier but i only caught about 10 minutes of it because i was i think he uh he didn't do one monday so i think he's done one today try and make up for it i do hope he's uh not not quitting i really do well jack i don't know if you're gonna watch this video or not but um I'm going to wish you all the best and wish you well for the future, no matter what you've decided to do, which I'll find out in a little while, but I'm going to wish you all the best anyway. Um, like I said, I've got a few of your pipes, so I really enjoy smoking them. I could do all my pipes. We're definitely going to have to get together one day. Me, me and Jack have share a few bowls or... I'll go over to Europe somewhere and then go, go, do, go and do a weekend of cigar hunting together. Jack, to me, is just one of them guys who um, I get on with, you know, become a real good friend, even though it's virtually. Appreciate his friendship. I mean, we get a lot. Sometimes when we do comment or we have the odd phone call, it's nice to it's nice to uh nice to have them that sort of relationship sorry friendship <laughs> sorry jack um yeah friendship all right guys so as usual i wish you all well anyone under the weather or not feeling too well i wish you a speedy recovery stay safe Enjoy whatever you're smoking. I know it's uh, it's just turned fall over there in the States now, hasn't it? The first day of fall. So, um, weather's turning everywhere in the world, you know, especially here. We, we, we've had fall for about a few weeks now, so. Hope you all have a good fall and it's uh, cools down. It makes things more comfortable for you guys. Well, our falls normally like a winter, lots of rain and horrible. But uh, take care, guys. Show your smokes. And uh, yeah, got them, got them new pipes to the collection. You've seen this one. But like I said, this was before, these were purchased before me um, sabbatical, just to say. So take care, guys. And I'll see you on the next Welsh's Waffle. Anyway, bloody little midges. All the best, guys. Sweet smokes.